how to turn your boring platonic conversations into fun and flirty ones, which is the thing that's gonna get women way more into you than if you just talked in this normal voice and just do the surface level things that everybody else does, okay? So if you're anything like I was, you have no idea how to flirt. Now, I'm a guy who's super technical, who's super nerdy, and I break things down to their fundamental components, like, and I've done this with flirting as well, too. So if you're a guy who loves things being broken down, you literally don't understand social interaction at all, you're gonna be able to understand and flirting after this video. So what we're gonna talk about is we're gonna talk about the fundamental concepts of flirting when it comes to that. What do you need to do in any circumstance? The second thing I'm gonna doing is I'm gonna be giving you actual examples with demonstrations and you can literally steal these lines. And the last thing that I'm gonna give you is basically how to get better at this, okay? So let's start with the first one. What are the fundamental concepts when it comes to flirting? Okay, flirting is basically adult play. It's two people having fun and they're showing interest but not being serious about it, okay? Okay? So you gotta have this like push-pull dynamic to it. You know, it should feel good, it should feel fun, but it should also feel like a little bit of a challenge. If it's too easy and you're just giving non-stop compliments, that's not flirting, okay? What flirting is, is it has a little bit of an edge to it, all right? So the first thing that you wanna do when it comes to body language with flirting is you wanna have a big smile, okay? I mean, smile. You should be having fun talking to a girl that you like. So in this, what you wanna do is you wanna smile. Now, I don't smile a lot when I'm flirting. I kinda have this like intense stare, uh, but I do smile at key points in time. One of the things that I have really good of though is I have great eye contact. My eye contact makes the person feel like I'm really focused on them. Now I don't give 100% eye contact, but for most guys who are watching this video, you need to up your eye contact. It shows confidence, it really makes her feel like, hey, this guy's engaged, and it gets her engaged as well too, okay? So you wanna give about 85 to 90% eye contact, and you know, save that last 10% uh, to kind of give her a little bit of a break. But don't be like staring at her like a robot the entire time. Thing three is you also wanna laugh, okay? This should be fun when two people are Flirting, you will hear laughter, and especially from her. The next thing that you want to do is you want to mirror her energy, her behavior, mirror it a little bit. If she's leaning against the rail, you know, you should lean up against the rail as well, too. If she's kind of got a low energy to herself, you want to come in at a low energy as well, too, but take it up just a notch, okay? And then the next thing that you want to do is if she's coming in with high energy, like a festival club or something like that, you gotta have high energy. If you come in with low energy in those environments, she's just gonna go away and go to talk to somebody with higher energy, okay? Now, once you've started talking to her, you want to start kind of from the side. Typically, starting from the side is the best thing if you don't know the person yet. And then once you guys start squaring up and talking to each other, that's where the real flirting can happen. So now that we've learned about the fundamental concepts of it, okay, we're gonna get into some actual flirting lines. Now again, a lot of these lines will have a little bit of push-pull to it, which is a concept that I'll get into after I show you some of these examples. Um, but mostly, they're designed to be more fun. When it comes to flirting, don't worry so much about saying the cool line. Worry more about being fun. Okay, that's where you want to start. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to cover is the typical question that everybody asks when you meet somebody, which is, where are you from? Okay. So where are you from? I'm from West Texas. West Texas? No. Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> well, I never would have guessed you're from West Texas. I mean, you got the gorgeous red hair, you got the tattoos. You're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when I picture somebody from West Texas, I'm usually thinking cowboy boots, Daisy Dukes, but you're doing your own thing. So like that's, you had a little bit of push-pull there. You were challenging her, saying like, oh, I thought you were this stereotype, but look at you, you know, you, you are someone different and unique. Now, if she takes offense about this, bring it back to yourself. You say, well, I mean, look at me, I'm California as hell. Like, like you can see plain white shirt, Converse's, like, you know, couldn't get more California even if I said hella every other sentence, right? So you want to just bring it back to yourself if it's going too far. Now, the second question that people ask typically is they're going to ask, what do you do, okay? So what do you do? I'm a hairstylist. You're a hairstylist, I could tell. Yeah, could you? I know, <laughs> I look fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, just pretend like I didn't literally just wake up out of bed. You're probably looking at my hair like, my God, what a mess. Actually, you have fantastic bedhead. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, I like to think that I have a one bedhead. Ooh, bold statement. <laughs> <laughs> Rather than just giving the same old boring answer, you know, like making fun of yourself a little bit there. Or you can maybe make fun of her. You're, pro you're probably looking at my hair right now going, oh my God, there's like flecks of dandruff popping out. Like I cannot talk to this guy anymore. Like just have a little bit of fun with it, all right? Now, the third thing that you wanna do is make sure, if you've noticed, 
with each of these questions, I haven't given just a straight, oh, that's cool answer, okay? I've played around with it a little bit. For questions like, how was your day? Instead of just answering, oh, I did nothing today, dude, give a more exciting answer than that, okay? You didn't just do nothing. Like, if you watch Netflix, that's something. So like, if somebody asked me, you know, what I did on Sunday, I'd be like, dude, I just found the most hilarious show of all time. It's these guys, they dress up in jumpsuits and they're going in to win all this money. And they play these like little kid games. They like have to carve like, you know, shapes out of cookies and stuff like that. And if they break the cookie or they don't make it to the next round, they get freaking shot. How crazy is that? <laughs> so basically, it's Squid Games. But if you do that, that's gonna have some things for her to play off of. She's like, oh my God, like, you know, if I was in that show, I'd probably get shot too. I'm like, me as well. I've never carved a shape out of a cookie or something like that. Okay, it's a little bit more fun than you just saying, uh, I did nothing, okay? Again, we're going for fun, not so much having the cool, witty line. That gives you more things to work with. Now we're gonna go into my favorite thing about flirting, which is teasing, okay? If you're flirting, you gotta know how to tease. This is the classic push-pull example, okay? So an example of this might be like, um, you know, you and me, we can never get along. We're two alike. We'd always fight and I'd always win. So the classic push-pull example there is you're pulling her in by saying you guys are so alike, but you're also pushing her away saying like, hey, look, this would never work. You're making it a challenge. You're pushing her away, but you're making it a challenge. That's gonna make her want to prove you wrong. Okay, you can't be super like, oh my God, you're gorgeous, you're amazing. That's not flirting, okay? But the line that I just gave is, it's a classic one, it's over, overused, but it, it does still work to this day. Now, another thing that you could say as well is like, let's say you guys are at the bar, she orders a drink and you know, you say something like, oh, a whiskey neat. I always pictured you as a vodka cranberry kind of girl, All right? That's teasing her a little bit there. Now, if she takes offense to that, then you say, oh my God, I love vodka cranberries. It's my favorite drink. I'm gonna get one right now. You know, like, you basically make fun of yourself. You're saying, hey, nothing wrong with getting a vodka cranberry. That's just not how I pictured you when I first met you. You're surprising. Another thing that you can do is you can use playful insults. Okay, this is one of my favorite ones. And typically the playful insults that I love using is nerd. As you can tell, I'm a huge nerd myself. Look how I've broken down flirting. Who does that? <laughs> so uh, I'm into Lord of the Rings, I'm into all that stuff. But if you meet someone and they're a nerd and you call them a nerd, they're probably not gonna take offense to it, okay? Same thing with dork, same thing with geek. So what'd you get up to today? I'm actually reading Bridgerton right now. Bridgerton, huh? Yeah. You are such a geek. Wow, okay, shots <laughs> fired. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, takes one to know one. I was just reading the Lord of the Rings before this party and honestly, if this party wasn't happening, that's what I'd still be doing. Oh, so should we just go and like read? We have a read party together? That sounds like fun, my <laughs> kind of man. <laughs> but you don't want to insult somebody though on their weight, their religion, their political stance, their family, any of those things that they really hold dear to their hearts, not something that you want to playfully insult them on, okay? So, but use the things that, uh, you know, people take pride in, or, you know, if you call her her sign or, or whatever it is, like that's gonna make her laugh and giggle, okay? She's probably gonna agree with you. The next thing is gonna be playful arguments. You argue about things that really don't matter, okay? Same thing with like sports teams, like if she's a Seattle Seahawks fan, I'm a Niners fan, so I'll pretend like, you know, we can't be friends for that. Like these things don't matter. There are things that you can argue about that like your favorite flavor of candy that don't matter, but they create a little bit of spark between the two of you and create a little bit of a challenge. All right, so you guys have a bunch of ways to flirt now, okay? We've covered teams. We cover the typical questions that people ask. Now, for most guys, they're gonna hear all of these things and they're gonna go out and they're gonna start practicing. Now, again, if you go too far, you, know, you can make fun of yourself, you can bring it back to you, and above all, I give you guys permission to make mistakes. It's okay to make mistakes. We're out here trying to have fun, trying to have a good time, and not every joke is gonna land. Most comedians know this. You gotta try a few jokes, you gotta crack a few eggs to make an omelet. All right, same thing with flirting. Okay, not everything is gonna land, but the one that does will really hit home. Now, there's gonna be a lot of guys who watch this video that will go out and implement these things and they won't get great results, or maybe they will start to get great results, but they can't keep it going. Right? I meet plenty of guys who can flirt with women that they're not attracted to, but when it comes to the really attractive ones, they tend to fall over themselves, okay? Or they say the stupid thing or they just can't do it. This is because 
Flirting comes from confidence. If you are not confident around women, it is gonna be very difficult to flirt. Okay, I've given you the bare bones things to help. When it comes to this, having confidence with women really makes it effortless, okay? So if you're trying really hard all the time to flirt, it probably means you're not confident enough. And this is what I help guys in on a daily freaking basis. So if you're a guy who this rings home true for, I want you to go to my form, it's in the link down below, Click the link, fill out the coaching application form. This is not an overnight thing that you can just say, oh, I'm just gonna be more confident with women, okay? You've probably had these issues for a long time. It's gonna take some time to fix them, okay? Not a super long time, but enough time that it's not just gonna be done in one video.